everyone, it's Chris here with a book haul. I actually haven't done a book haul since my book con haul, so I don't think I have all the books that I've gotten since then in this haul. Like, I've just kind of looked at my shelf and was like, I don't think I've hauled this yet. I may have actually hauled a couple of these already. I'm not even sure, but we're just going to go into it and see how this goes, because it's been like over three months since I've hauled things, so yeah. If I haven't hauled the books that my boyfriend picked me up from a library sale, then there are more than these four books I'm about to show you. I just don't know where they are. Uh, but my boyfriend picked me up some books from a library sale near his job, and he got me the girl with who played with fire, and the girl with the dragon tattoo. So I have seen one of the movies, the Swedish film of the girl with the dragon tattoo. Um, and so I'm excited to hopefully may read those at some point. Uh, next up, he also picked me up The Devil Wears Prada. Love that movie. Haven't read the book. And a book called The Interestings by Meg Wallitzer. I think he only picked it up because of The Pretty Culver. And I don't know much about it. I saw someone that's haul it recently. Um, yeah, so, and, it, and I read the description. It sounded interesting, so I kept it. <laughs> so, yeah. Just remember that he also picked me up this book with that set. It's called The Vanishers, and it's by Haiti um, Julev Julevitz. And it seems like it's about psychics, or and it's like psychic attack things. I don't know. I could read the description, but it would just take a long time. It seemed interesting, and the cover is really pretty. So there's that. I got Peroxy by Alex on that. I actually had a really bad copy of this before, and so I went and got a nice looking copy, and maybe I'll actually read it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this cover. It's pretty, and I'm excited to read this. Uh, I don't know what this book is about. This is a book about, I think it's a dystopian world. I don't know, these people who are upper class have proxies, so if they get a, have a, do a crime, the proxy will then take the punishment for them, and so that's what it's about. I'm excited to read it. Oh, I got Return to the Isle of Lost by Melissa De La Cruz. It is the book that follows the Descendants movie, the Disney Descendants movie. Um, and I really like that movie. Um, it's one of my favorite decoms, probably. I'll, every There's so many of my favorite decom movies, though. Like, Disney Channel read the movies. There's so many. But yeah, it, I really liked it, so I went ahead and got the book. And I've read this already, and it's really good. I enjoyed it. Um, had some problems, but still liked it. So yeah. Rainbow, Rainbow, Rainbow Boys by Alex Sanchez. I feel like I may have already hauled this. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, I've been, been, people have been telling me to read this book forever, like, in real life. Like, my friends and, like, my friend Athena. Just like, you haven't read that yet? I'm like, nope. I'm finally going to read it. So, there's that. There's that. <laughs> um, you know me well by Dave Love and Nina Core. I don't know how I haven't read this already. I picked it up, and I still haven't read it. And I know it's going to be wonderful, but I just still haven't read it already. So, hopefully that's going to happen soon. This is a library book, but it's also a book on my most anticipated reads list, so I'm just going to show it to you in this because it's my own library book that I have out right now. It is Jerkbait by Mia Segarit. Um, I'm super excited to read this book. Um, it was on my most anticipated reads list of the, week, of the year for sure. And so, and it really looks like it's going to be really fast to read. I have it till the 19th of next month, but I'm going to probably read it in next week or so, to be honest. The last three books are from Excursions to my favorite store in the world, possibly right now, and that is Unabridged Books in Chicago. It's actually in Boys Town. It's this bookstore that has this huge queer book section, and it makes me so happy. I literally just spent like an hour in that section just going through and looking at the books and like the notes on the books, because a lot of the, they have like little notes from people who read the books about why they love the books and things like that. And so I'm like reading notes for, on like Ariston Dante and Simon Verses and like all these books that I loved and reading why everyone else loves them in these little notes. And it was so cute and I loved it. And I'm obsessed. And I have three books from there that we got on different occasions. Um, I got Oscar Wilde's The Picture of Dorian Gray. I really love this cover. Like, it just stood out to me so much. I absolutely loved it. Um, I got The Kiss of the Spider Woman uh, with, or Kiss of the Spider Woman by Manuel Pueg, um, which is a musical, a play that got turned into a musical or something like that. I've listened to the music from the musical and I love it. Um, so I'm super excited to actually read this. Last, we got Anything had, will, Could Happen by Will Walton. My boyfriend picked it up for me. It's been on my TBR for a very long time, and I'm super excited to read it. Uh, I'm super glad we found it at the bookstore while my boyfriend was there. So, yeah. These are the last three books of the haul. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you read any of the books, you can tell me how you what you thought about them down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.